What is going on guys and welcome to my Quentin Tarantino series. This is the first video of this series as I review every Quentin Tarantino film leading up to Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. And the first film is Reservoir Dogs. This movie came out in the early 90s and it is centered around a group of strangers who pull off a jewelry heist. But their heist goes a little sour when they realize that one of the people in this group was a police informer. Now the group has to figure out who that person is, and bloody rampage ensues. This is a great movie. I did not expect a lot going into this film, knowing that it was Tarantino's first directorial effort. And so I kind of went in with expectations that this is him kind of getting his feet wet, there are going to be some problems here and there, possibly some things won't be composed as well, or some sequences might not be directed as flawlessly. But I gotta say, I was really impressed. And I think it's from the start of this film. This movie starts off with all of these characters sitting around a table in like a cafe setting or a restaurant setting, and they're just talking. And the camera is panning around kind of establishing what we could see from this film. Because when you see that shot, you don't necessarily always see the character who's talking being kind of focused in on the camera, but it's more of this scope of where we're going to go with this story. And so the way Tarantino kind of directs that scene in particular, it made it probably my favorite scene in the entire film, just because even though it's just characters sitting around talking at a table, what I loved about it was I loved the establishment that they used with that shot. The way that they have this camera just pan around at different viewpoints of different characters, get to see some characters react to other things that characters are saying. So that is such a great way to open this film. Now this movie is also very Tarantino-like. The way it's edited, for example, this movie does not tell the story straight through from a beginning to an end point. This movie goes a little different. Obviously, like I said, the start of this movie is all these characters sitting around a table talking about life and things that are funny to them and amusing to then we get into the aftermath of the actual heist where these characters are kind of in this moment of realization that someone had set them up and they have to try to figure out who it is so this movie really breaks it down sequence by sequence depending on where we are and where the tension is building in the film and that's what i really loved about it because after you get these types of scenes that are constructed beautifully you get some character backstory relating to certain characters that come onto the scene. And I really like that about the way Tarantino directed this film, the way that this film was edited. It just felt so good. It felt so refreshing because a lot of times stories are told from a point A to point B perspective. This movie kind of goes point A, point six, point A, point four to point A, point three. So it kind of works its way back a little bit, backtracks throughout the entire film, and I really love that about this movie. You get some amazing performances. Steve Buscemi, man, that guy can act. He was fantastic in this movie. I mean, this movie, it doesn't have an all-star cast like usual and typical Tarantino films, because this was his first directorial film, but the cast just really blended nicely together. You have some amazing personalities. What I also really like about this film and about these characters in particular, these characters are very basic. We don't know a lot about them. For example, these characters have names like Mr. White, Mr. Pink. They don't refer to themselves by their actual names because they don't really necessarily know each other's real names. That's to protect them from anybody telling on one another and having like a rat in the group. So it's really cool because you get to only see these little tiny details that Tarantino wanted you to see about these characters makes the movie that much more impactful because we don't know the intricacies of every character. There's one character in particular, I'm not gonna give away spoilers, even though the movie is over 20 years old, you should definitely check this movie out, but there's one character in particular we, see, we find out a lot more about who he was and that's only because he ends up becoming the rat to the group. So it's really cool to see these characters kind of intermingle. Tarantino's even in this film for a little bit. He plays Mr. Brown. So it was interesting and really refreshing to see him act in this film. A couple of moments where I'm just like, oh yeah, that's Tarantino. It just kind of threw me for a loop because I kind of felt like he was a, a real actor as opposed to somebody who was directing this film at the exact same time. But this is a movie that I just absolutely loved. I thought it was a fantastic film. It's not going to knock your socks off. It is the 
shortest Tarantino movie. So if you want to watch a Tarantino film, this is the one to start with because it's only 90 minutes. And those 90 minutes, they move quickly. I mean, you just go from one sequence to another, and I really like that. I also like how Tarantino, the first scene in particular with them sitting around the table, I like that it felt very elongated. And it kind of felt like a one-take scene where all this stuff that's happening happened in one take with characters having certain dialogue with one another, having conversations. You have this awesome moment with Steve Buscemi, probably my favorite moment of the entire film where everyone is tipping a dollar and he his character does not believe in tipping. He just doesn't believe in it. He thinks it's ridiculous. He goes, well, you wouldn't tip the people at McDonald's for giving you your food. And he's like, why does the government feel like it's not okay to tip this place, but it is okay to tip this place? And I really like that. I thought that was a lot of fun. And there is some really good humor in this movie along with the heavy drama, the heavy thrill of this film. Because this is really a dramatic thriller, in my opinion, mixed with some comedy elements. And you're trying to solve this mystery of who this could possibly be. Now, it does tell you kind of in the middle of the film who actually is the informer, but I like the way that they did all of that. It really felt fleshed out and I just really found myself to be unraveled in this story and it's, it's a fantastic film. So definitely, definitely, definitely go check out Reservoir Dogs. It is a, a monumental film in the Tarantino-verse and I'm just so happy that Tarantino, this is how he started his directorial saga, is with a film like this that has so many amazing moments. Now there's one moment in particular, this is the last thing I'm going to say, my only con for this film, the only negative that I could pull out, and it's nitpicking here, there is a scene where Steve Buscemi's character is talking to a guy named Mr. White. They're in the bathroom, and Mr. White pulls out a lighter. They're going to smoke cigarettes. Now, Steve Buscemi's character, Mr. Pink, his cigarette lights just fine. Mr. White completely misses his cigarette. So literally for a minute, he's holding onto the cigarette. Nothing is coming out. It's not sparked or anything. And I just kind of found that to be a little funny. I was surprised that they kept that shot in there just because it was very noticeable. But other than that, I really enjoyed this film. And it's a really small nitpicky thing. I think it's really hilarious that that's in there because that's funny that something like that would be left in there. It's kind of like the Game of Thrones water bottle and coffee cup debacle. Anyway, guys, what did you think about Reservoir Dogs? Let me know below in the comment section. Make sure you guys like this video. Subscribe to my channel for more content just like this. I will be putting up another Tarantino film. The next one is going to be Pulp Fiction, so definitely stay tuned for that. Anyway, guys, I will see you in the next video. Goodbye.